Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be about the YouTube keyword suggestion tool. Um, suppose you're a new YouTuber, you're just starting right now with, with putting videos up, or you have an existing channel, but you're wondering, hey, how can I get more views? How, how can I be discovered? How can I get people to look for my stuff? Well, a, you got to have really good content and, qu and, and quality of content. Um, and B, you need to be able to find what the right tags are for people who are searching for videos. Uh, what are people looking for? What are they interested in? Well, what, what, what's the trending thing right now? And, and the tool you're going to use for that is going to be this tool right here. It's called the Keyword Tool. Um, let me go back to my desktop and show you how you get to it from the beginning. So I'm going to open up my uh, my Google Chrome um, and I'm going to go to Google. And you must be signed in. As you see, I'm signed in. Um, you signed into your Google account and your YouTube account. And I'm going to type in here uh, YouTube Keyword Suggestion Tool. Oh, and there it is. It's popping up already. So the YouTube Keyword um, Suggestion Tool, what it does is it allows me to see what is like the monthly search volume for a certain term. It allows me to narrow it down by either uh, language, um, you know, uh, or country. Um, language and country. So I'm in the United States uh, and I'm looking in English. So I'm not going to change these settings. They're default settings. So now, suppose that I have a video. I'm about to make a video. Let's say I'm curious. What are people looking for? Let me type in a keyword uh, to see what is the volume on a particular keyword. So let's use, for example, let's say I want to make a video about Microsoft Office, which I make a lot of videos about. Um, I'm going to type in Microsoft Office and click on Get Keyword Ideas. Now, what happens is, is YouTube uh, queries against searches, search volumes for Microsoft Office. It's going to tell me what is the monthly search volume approximate for this keyword. And it's going to give me a couple of ideas. For example, 31,000 people a month search, uh, search for uh, Microsoft Office 2010. 67,000 people search Microsoft Office. So these are keywords I definitely want to have. These are tags I definitely want to add in my video. Um, you see, I can actually really tell uh, what they're looking for, whether it's Office 2007, Office 2013. The term Microsoft alone is searched 469,000, almost half a million times a month. So it's a really good keyword to have. But remember, this is too uh, narrow. You have to to be more specific and broad about your keywords. So the, the keyword suggestion tool really helps you figure out what people are looking for. Um, Obviously, it gives you some random keywords like WWE, which has nothing to do with Microsoft Office, but, you know, it's nice to know it gets 3.5 million searches. Uh, <laughs> um, you see here, uh, Photoshop CS5, also 7,500 uh, views a month. So, in essence, what am I showing you guys? I'm showing you guys a tool that really allows you to view historical search data on Google. Uh, and they give you this information for free to get new keyword ideas, to get more perfect keywords, I keyword ideas, so you can focus your content uh, and target a certain audience, target people searching for specific things. Um, let's say you're going to make a video about a cat sleeping on the couch, like my cat is doing right now, <laughs> and click on Get Keyword Ideas. So you look here and Laughing Cat has 23,000. That's that's what it was able to pull as a keyword idea. But, you know, there's a lot of keyword ideas out there. You can put phrases, and I, I personally like to use words. Like, for example, I just made a video, which is rendering right now, 79%, uh, uh, about uh, free text messaging. So I'm going to put in here a uh, free text message, and I'm going to click on Get Keyword Ideas. And I'm going to study what people out there are looking for. Um, let's see, when it says not enough data, it means that it, there's not enough relevant data to pull a result for you. It doesn't mean it's not searched, but it doesn't mean it's massively popular either. So, you know, you can look around, and I, I like to take things that I know have um, search data behind them. It really helps me get a clearer view of the audience I'm targeting. Girl Fights gets 346,000. Wow. I'm probably 100 of those. <laughs> Um, free downloads, 28,000, uh, uh, free spoofing text, not enough data. Uh, again, it, it's very hard to get relevant stuff, but if you play with this tool enough, like I do, uh, it's, it's very, very, very good. Um, you know, just the word how to alone gets 48 million searches a month. I mean, isn't that crazy? So this gives you really good statistics. Now, once you have the keywords that you like, you go on YouTube when you add your videos or edit your existing videos and where it says tags, you'll be putting these guys in. Uh, and you want the guys that have the biggest monthly search volume. So that that's really the, the main focal 
point uh, of this video to show you guys that there is a tool out there that can actually help you promote your videos so you can get really good keywords and ideas you know YouTube has an insane amount I actually did this a while ago YouTube has a crazy amount of monthly search volume uh, just for the word YouTube that is uh, right 4.4 million people look up the word YouTube uh, a month isn't that something that's insane Justin Bieber 7.7 .7 million that's just sad um, but yeah, so there's a lot, a lot of things out there that you could use to your advantage, um, and this is a tool that you definitely want to use. So I lately joined a forum called YT Talk, uh, which is a YouTube community, and uh, I've been uh, you know, talking to some people there and getting some ideas, making graphics for some people, you know, just a uh, regular mumbo jumbo. And I brought this up, and some people don't even know it exists. So I decided to make a video about it. Also, it's another reason why I'm making that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, you know, upcoming YouTubers uh, use this tool and uh, help perfect your things, uh, and see how far you can get. You know, uh, sky's the limit, really, when it comes to creativity. So, be creative and original and genuine. Uh, thank you again for watching my videos. Uh, very thankful uh, to my entire audience on any videos that you guys watch um, on my channel. Please subscribe, and if you haven't, uh, you should. I try my best to deliver the greatest and bestest content out there. So thank you very much again, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Today's video is going to be about sending text messages. Now, often enough, uh, everyone has uh, phones, uh, either Androids or iPhones or etc. And, uh, you know, you may want to be able to send a, a free text message to somebody, but not using your phone, but using a computer. So this video is going to introduce you to SMS from a computer for absolutely free. Um, and, and let me just show you a little background on this. Say you go on Google, right? And let me go in on Google. Um, and I'm going to type in uh, free texting. Right? So free texting. And I'm going to go to this textme.net website. First one that comes up. You see, you could, you can right now send text messages with uh, your computer. Except you have to know who the mobile carrier is. And most places will ask you who the mobile carrier is. And it's very annoying. Sometimes you don't know whether your friend has AT&T or Sprint or Verizon. Or sometimes you want to interact with customers. Um, and you don't know what kind of phone they have. So... Uh, having the uh, um, ability to make text messages without a mobile carrier is an absolute plus. Uh, and even more better, you want to be able to receive messages back. So I found this great website I'm going to introduce you to. Uh, this website is called TextDrop. Uh, it's a T -X -T -D -R -O -P, uh, T-X-T-D-R-O-P. TextDrop. And when you click on that, you're going to see right away that this is hands down the best uh, text messaging uh, to, to a person's phone, best text messaging web application out there. Um, you put in an email address in here, you put in who the phone number is, the phone number for the recipient down here, and then your text message, and you click send, and they get it, no matter what carrier they're on. I mean, it, it's awesome. And when they reply to the text messages on their phone, you will receive the reply to the email. Um, so you can chat with them through email, but you can initiate that from a computer to a telephone. That means that, let's say, um, you know, I'm... Uh, I don't have my phone with me, and I want to text someone and talk to someone who does have their phone with them. I'll be putting my email in here. I'll be putting in their number here and a text message, and then I would immediately get a conversation started between my email and their phone. So this is the best thing for free texting. Um, you know, it's it's a, a search term, searched a lot, uh, and I wanted to make a video about it because I'm experienced in it because I actually created applications with this that I can communicate with customers with. Uh, sometimes... When I have customers, I'd rather text them, and I don't want to use my phone. I just want to be able to use some kind of an application. So let's get to even a cooler thing about this. So these guys, actually, this company or this website, they created um, uh, different interfaces. And one of the best interfaces is the iPhone app, which is not a real app. It's just a, a web interface that's much better than what you're looking at now. So I'm going to introduce you to that also. So I'm going to click on iPhone app. And I'm going to click on the link for the iPhone app. And you're going to see what happens is it shows me a much friendlier, put in your email, put in their number, put your message, and click send uh, format. Now, you can actually manipulate this format. And that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to manipulate this format to create my own form. Um, using their code. So it's a really cool thing. Not everyone's going to do this. The majority of people watching this video will probably be like, oh, wow, I can send a free text message. Cool. And they're going to go and do it. And they're going to use this website. But if you're a business person or you have a company and you want to focus on texting, um, 
your customers or just having an application that you can text people with and respond with email, you may want to work with something like this. So the easy way of doing it, what I did was is first is manipulate this website in code. So whether you have a, a, a developer um, on site or you yourself dabble a little bit with HTML and things of that nature, what I'm doing right now is I'm opening Dreamweaver 8. Um, I have Dreamweaver CS6, but I'm going to use Dreamweaver 8 for this example. Uh, Dreamweaver is an HTML editor. I'm going to create a new HTML page. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to view the source um, of this page. And I'm going to copy the entire source of this page. And I'm going to paste it into the code of this page that I'm making right now. Next thing is I'm going to need this shortcut. Uh, I'm going to need to link everything. So as you see here, there is a source for iPhone navigation JavaScript. We're going to need that, but we're not going to copy it. What we're going to do is we're going to just take this um, link over here. I'm going to show you how I manipulate this page and what I could do with it. So I could take this link right here. I want to go here and I'm going to plug it in wherever it's necessary to plug in. For example, here it's necessary. Here it's necessary. And it's necessary in one more place. Uh, I believe that is the actual form action sent to iPhone.php. Um, and let's delete his little Google script thingamajiggy so it doesn't bother us. Um, okay. And we have a page. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Um, and I have full power over this code right now that I can embed it into my website or my uh, content management uh, system or anything of that nature. So I'm just going to name it index.html. Uh, and let me preview it in my browser. Let's see what it looks like. Now, I have full control over this. So what I can actually do um, is I can go into the design, for example. Uh, and you see here, I can start making changes. I can write the word test on top. Let me save it. Let's refresh it. And you see what, what happened is the JavaScript CSS actually took over this. As a matter of fact, I don't even need the CSS, so I can delete it. I don't think there's any relevant code in there that I could possibly use. Uh, so let's kill the CSS style save it let's refresh the page again and take a look at what it looks like so see where it says free text messaging app on the very top so um, you can actually change that uh, we can modify that we can call it uh, Elon's text uh, SMS tool and a smiley face so now I'm gonna save that also file save I'm gonna refresh the page and looks like it didn't save it hold on one moment and make sure that I got it uh, designs it looks like my dream is bugging out just a little bit right, hold on just one second and let's change the title here as well Elon's free text SMS tool and a smiley face and I'm going to save this page. Now I'm going to refresh this page and Elon's free um, text SMS tool. Now I can actually take this page, slap it on my website, and slap it into a more comfortable background. I could put in my email in here, uh, Elon at Danger Studio. I could put in here my phone number. Uh, let me use my Google Voice number. I believe it's 347702, uh, something, 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 something. Never really memorized it because I don't use my Google Voice much, but let me just get that real quick for this demonstration. I want to show you guys. Uh, my Google Voice number is 347-725-0315. And a message saying, hi, this is a sample text. Smiley face. Now, when I click send, it's obviously going to reroute me to the thank you page from their uh, website because essentially what I did was is I copied the code I could place it on my site but when it's sent what it does is it actually sends it through here um, through their gateway which is very cool um, and in about one second I'm gonna get a text message and let me just make sure see if I got this text and yep here it is I just got the text message over here and let me close this and this is wonderful. You know why? Because now I can commence chats with people either from my website by embedding this um, or I can commence chats with people uh, directly through their website, which is TextDrop. Uh, dot com. So remember this site. Uh, what, I just, what I just did right now, what I showed you, is how we can uh, take someone else. Uh, I won't say take someone else's code, but you could take particular codes or forms from the internet, and we can manipulate them, kind of, sorta, and use them for our uh, advantage. So TextDrop is really great. Uh, you could send a message out. Uh, the person will text back, and it comes back through your email, the email which you use over here. Um, use the iPhone app interface. Again, it's not a real iPhone app. It's just uh, a really uh, 
pretty and a well-designed um, form. You don't need to know the person's carrier. That is the beauty of this app uh, and, and the beauty of this service altogether. Now, they do have a number of other things. There's a Vista gadget that they did, a MySpace widget that they did, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, and a bunch of other things that you can just play with. They even have a widget for Macs, um, as you see, though, I'm using Windows. But, yeah, so this is what I wanted to introduce to you guys. Um, you can create your own uh, uh, your own ideas of this, but, again, if you have a, a business or, or you, you want to communicate with people through text messaging, it's really, really good. It's really nice to be able to uh, speak with people uh, through SMS. Um, and, and, and that's just something that uh, I, I think is, is awesome. Uh, the fact that, that you could uh, speak with people via SMS. I think it's great, um, and, and I would recommend that to anyone. So that's part of the reason I'm showing you this video. Um, so that's it. So I hope you guys like uh, what you've seen and that you may use it. And remember, this is how you send free text messages without knowing a carrier. It's wonderful. Um, you can even mass text with this, but that's for a different conversation. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Again, the website is textdrop.com. Wham! There it is. Uh, another cool trick and another nice uh, service uh, brought to you by uh, one of my many videos. And thank you guys again for watching. Subscribe uh, to all my subscribers. Thank you as always. Uh, always say thank you to my subscribers. Always say thank you to my viewers. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.